Hidden San Francisco, the guide to lost landscapes, unsung heroes, and radical histories. Stop E4, the myth of Laguna Dolores at Camp and Albion Streets. Imagine the views from the original Mission Dolores in early 1800. To the south, the land dropped precipitously to the rushing Mission Creek, today running in a culvert beneath 18th Street. A deep ravine full of willows flourished on either side of the creek to the southeast and became a working-class resort in 1850 San Francisco called the Willows. To the east spread a tidal slough and saltwater wetlands where birds, fish, and mammals lived in dense abundance. Small oak groves dotted local gullies sheltered from wind by the hills, but most of the nearby hills were treeless and covered in dune scrub landscapes. To the north, another small creek burbled out of the hills and cascaded down to the swampy area that is today's North Mission and covered by the armory and the Central Freeway. Mission Dolores itself was built on dry, arable soil with easy access to nearby water, key qualities required for the Spanish mission model. Rudimentary agriculture easily took hold in the surrounding acres in the decades before a town started to grow far east in Yerba Buena Cove. In 1876, during centennial celebrations, two California historians debated the presence of a freshwater lake near the mission. In 1912, Zoeth Eldridge published a map with the claim that a lake covered the area between 15th and 20th Streets, Valencia and Howard Streets, and was called originally Laguna de Manantiel. While working at the Oakland Museum of California, aquatic biologist Christopher Richard debunked the claim that a freshwater lake existed west of the known tidal inlet. A plaque that stands at Camp and Albion Streets shows a map of the supposed lake and claims it stands on the bank of said lake. But core samples taken by Richard from beneath the recently built condominiums directly east of the plaque show that there was never a body of water standing in that area. Deciphering the early Spanish journals, Laguna de Manantial refers to a spring-fed lake, and according to Richard's careful reading of new translations, it designated instead a body of water that later became known as Washerwoman's Lagoon at Goff and Vallejo Streets near the Marina District. Nevertheless, the myth of Laguna Dolores persists, from some claiming it was destroyed by the tens of thousands of cattle and sheep owned by Mission Dolores in 1810, to others who simply post maps showing its existence in local business windows.